okay, can a coyote chew off its own leg? Uh, certainly can. Uh, and, um, but we can't ask the coyote what it thinks about when it does it or how it feels. Um, but um, many are familiar with the story of Aaron Ralston, an outdoors, uh, an outdoor athlete who was trapped in a slot canyon for an extended period of time, ran out of food, was dehydrated, and uh, in imminent danger of, uh, of dying. Ultimately, he was able to cut off his own arm and self-rescue. What he said was, I leave behind my prior declaration that severing my arm is nothing but a slow act of suicide and move forward on a cresting wave of emotion, of emotion knowing the alternative is to wait for a progressively more certain but assuredly slower demise. In describing his experience, he speaks about over an hour's period of time gradually severing muscle by muscle and blood vessel after a force of course, first putting on a tourniquet, saving the nerves for last, but he, but he did notice some pain there. But he said for the most part, there was very little pain involved. Uh, uh, the final act was to uh, reposition his arm and snap the bones one by one. Uh, from that point, he was able to walk out through the slot, do a one-arm rappel out of the slot, and walk himself to safety. So uh, his experience has been documented in a, in a book and in a, in a documentary movie and uh, speaks to the power that lies within the human to tolerate pain and continue to work to move forward in a high performance environment. So there does seem to be this pain survival imperative. So what did happen with Aaron Ralston? Um, the way I would describe it is to speak of a pain performance arrow. So the way pain works ordinarily is that we mobilize the whole to save the part. Uh, imagine that you're tired, sluggish, laying next to a campfire, uh, resting. You end up rolling over, you put your hand in the fire, uh, alarm bells go off, all of a sudden you're able to move quickly with a lot of energy from being in almost a dead sleep. That's how pain works. It, uh, it, uh, it warns us of danger and it helps us mobilize the body so we can move quickly, mobilize the whole to save the part. In a survival situation, as Aaron Ralston's experience would suggest, the, um, the pain system is designed to sacrifice the part to save the whole. It, it's important to focus on, on once he was prepared to do what he needed to do, how ordinary the experience seemed to him as it was happening. He was able to do that um, by accessing all the best elements of the pain and survival system.